Welcome back, guys. As you can tell, we're not where we are. We're not in a farmhouse. I've actually traveled about maybe an area so far and just like decided to just start recording. Like, there was like nothing and I kind of lost my bike. Apparently, um, the bikes don't respawn when you start a new world. Kind of a bullshit, but what you gonna do? So I pretty much like walked in here in hopes of finding another bike or something. Hopefully we do. Hopefully we do. Actually, this place looks pretty nice too. I think we're gonna actually do it. We're gonna try and set up a fort this time. Like an actual building that we can just like fortify ourselves in. Considering like there's a lot of mountains here and there's like little front area. I think we can do it. I think we can settle here if we can. Definitely that construction area is going to give us some wood. We can definitely build that house or we can um, maybe fortify that house. Let's do it. I'm going to switch up the pistol. Uh, let's not do that. Uh, I think it spawned in front of me. I can't really see it. What did? Did it just like? Okay. So apparently the game was like, "Fuck you! You're not gonna walk through this." So I'm thinking we're gonna take. Actually, this place looks pretty good. We can. We can actually set up here if we can. I'm gonna just like start building for the sake of building. Too bad we can't like add paint and stuff like that. I believe it's really easy to like build barricades and stuff like this. Um, can I put sideways? No, I cannot. Okay. imagine like doing this on a server just by yourself like I'm doing just can I, can I just here we go it's like building your own little fort here actually can I do this from the inside oh more wood I just put a crossbar here. I think I can. Bring that up. Bring it in here. Um, maybe do it like that. Let's see if we can actually fortify this place before sundown. Of course, we can't build doors and stuff like that, which kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? I like the construction. It's definitely different from it, any other zombie game I've played so far. Like, you just uh, pick up any item. I'm using middle mouse to, like, hold stuff like this, and then X is to, like, rotate. Um, I think I'm going to put it here. And then with the hammer, you just, like, smash it in place. And that hammering sound tells you it's, like, hammered in. Like that. I'm not gonna do anything too elaborate. I'm gonna just build a little outpost here. Just so I don't die. Um, maybe something a little... Like, maybe build a low wall here. Ooh. Can I? Can I? Whoa, that'd be awesome if I could do that. Just like put it on the other side and just like hammer it in. Um, build a low wall here. 
So sorry about uh, having a lack of videos recently. I've just been busy with real life stuff, just doing taxes and stuff like that. Of course, I have nothing to pay to the government. I wish I did. I would be proud of it. I'd be like, yeah, I made that money. But no, got nothing to nothing to really show for it. Just like real life, you have nothing to show for it. If I do that, would they be able to climb in? Hopefully not. Um, just want to make sure, like, I can't climb in. Because I'm going to pretty much use this place as a little hidey hole. Oh, it sucks I have to, like, do this every time just to get through. We put this board up here. It looks like sun's coming down on the opposite side of this hill, so we have to fortify really quick. I have to admit, like they, like I like the construction. It's kind of awesome. But um, I'm thinking maybe they should make rotating objects a little easier, since it's kind of hard to do it with the mouse. It's kind of like, like, what if I want to rotate it in a certain direction? I move it up, down, left, right, but like, what if I want to do like some sort of crazy, janky shit? I have to like, use up, down, left, right in a really precise way. But, uh, what you gonna do? Uh, I think I'm gonna hammer this one right here. Stuck? No. Okay. So the most vulnerable part of my little hideout here is gonna be like this opening. Hopefully zombies can't go through this. I would be surprised and ticked off. Cause barricades do nothing. Um let's see. too big. I'm just like hammering stuff now. I, uh, I don't really care about how it looks. It's just I want to like not die tonight. Okay. Yeah, that kind of works. Can't really trust it though. Maybe, maybe do something on the outside. That maybe. I wish you can like cut wood down to size and stuff like that. Uh, that'd be kind of nice. I'm gonna use this as my entrance. Ah, um. uh, don't, don't be sundown just yet. Not yet. I'm almost done. I'm just like putting up wood. Like I'm not like a carpenter or anything. I'm not freaking Jesus. I'm gonna just like mash together a few things and just make sure I survive the night. Okay, fit through that door. Um So I've set the time for twenty minutes day and four minutes night. I think that'd be a good compromise considering like, there's really hardly anything to really see at night. And also with a flashlight, it's kind of limited to what you guys can see through the flashlight. So I thought, hey, why, why not just make it 20 minutes a day, 4 minutes a night? I'm like, okay. Because I like to talk to myself like that. Um, I think this fort is going out pretty well. Of course, you can start, like, building, like, your own houses and stuff. I think that... That would take a while. Um, okay, it's night time. I haven't seen any zombies yet. Hopefully they don't 
come at us in four minutes, because that's going to be kind of weird. Uh, let's hide out in this little... This is pretty much what I do every time, like, night happens and I'm doing a Let's Play. It's just like, let's hide out. Just be very quiet. In the home wielding machine gun. I wish there was a way for me to like reload other magazines. Because of course they show you like those magazine slot things. It's just like how do I reload this magazine and this magazine? Because I do have ammo for it. It's just how do I put this into this? Oh, can't do that. See? Can't even put it in there. Tried clicking, but nothing happened. Um. I think I'm gonna arrange my stuff while we wait. As you can tell, it's really dark at night. Like, I've tried setting gamma up to pretty much, like, maximum, and it's kind of hard to tell. Like, I wish there was night vision or something. Like, just a little enhancement. That little item that changes your flashlight into night vision. That'd be kind of nice. Hopefully no zombies come in. Because I'm ill prepared for zombies at the moment. Because we already died once. Pretty much this is what I do, I just like dick off in like a small room inside a house. Hopefully like windows shut and I'm just like out of the way and just do this. Just like wait. On the upside though, we haven't put in a roof so we got a nice little view of the stars. I wonder if those are actual stars and not just like something they just like speckled on to the sky. Actually, looks pretty nice. Hmm. So what? So what's new? Um, besides just doing my own thing, I've been looking at some other games, and I think I'm gonna maybe get some games sometime soon. Some new games, maybe. I want to get Space Engineers. I've been looking at some Let's Plays of that and kind of interested. Considering that they have survival mode. You kind of like survive and build a base and stuff like that. I'm kind of interested in playing that. Um, maybe find a couple people who want to play with me. Maybe. So we can like have our own little private survival session. Probably, probably, maybe, maybe not. Almost daytime. Let's go exploring while it's dusk. Uh, probably gonna maybe get another Steam card to get that, but I'm not too sure. Because um, because the problem with uh, Steam is, is everything's in U.S. dollars, so like to calculate an exchange rate that will buy that game and not have something in excess that I can't use on Steam. It's kind of, kind of insane. So what I'm thinking is I might get it, but only if it's like on sale. Like 20 bucks is a good deal. Hats off to like the devs for making it 20 bucks, but it's still kind of um, kind of pricey and that's just kind of random. Um, it's kind of pricey at the moment. I don't want moldy corn. Sorry about that. Pear looks good. Too bad I can't use a toaster for anything. 44. I think that's 44. Yeah. It says so on the box. More matches on the ground. That was a 
Loud bang. Um, let's go upstairs. So like probably with Space Engineers, since it's 1999 and Steam cards like 20 bucks. I'm gonna have like a penny left. I'm like, what am I gonna do with this penny? My Steam account. Mm. It's a really nice backpack, but I got my little. Yeah. I'm gonna just stand back, pull up my shotgun, open that door slightly. Hopefully, he doesn't know how to get through. Bam! You dead. Reload here. I was like, that's a loud banging sound, and it just kept banging like, um, that's probably a bug, and then I looked at that guy, I'm like, oh. What's this? No. More right gear. Let's check out, uh, let's check out this right gear for a again. Maybe it's better. Nope, same, same vest. Pistol. Nothing here. And of course we know how bows and arrows work, so we're definitely not grabbing bows and arrows for now. Um, let's eat that. Eat that. So right now, we're gonna find a bike. After we find the bike, maybe, uh... Stay to live in that fort if we can, for as long as we can. We're definitely like stocked up on food, so we definitely don't need to scavenge food. We just have to like find a bike. That's all we need. Because every time I stop playing, we lose a bike. RIP blue bike. We're gonna stop here for now. We're gonna continue on with with it in the next part. Until next time, see ya.